Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Sims 13 Runaway Challenge. Uh, we're here with Trent and uh, Katrina. Before I get going into this, I had a gift sent to me for Trent, and I'm going to go ahead and say right now, thank you so much for sending this to me. It's one of an, an it's what? Blah. It's an item up of the Sims 3 store, and what I want to do is go ahead and take it out right now. Um, I have to find it, to be honest with you, so it may take me just a quick second to find it. I'm going to guess... I can't speak today. I'm going to guess it's under decor, so let me see if I can just find it and do it pretty quickly. Um, like I said, I've never looked for it, so I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going to try and find it without searching forever. So, if it becomes, like, a really long process, then I'll just probably cut this part out or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see. Can I find this on a quick basis or not? Um, but I do want to just say to everyone who's gifted me something already... Thank you guys so much for sending me gifts. I mean, I never expect you guys to do that. And, you know, it's just when you do do it, it's just so very nice. And I, it makes me feel so much more loved. Even knowing I feel so loved already, it just makes me feel even more loved. So it's just really cool. So thank you guys so much to all who send and to even the ones that don't. That's okay. Um... I don't know, this is not, as, it's more expensive than I'm thinking it was, come on. Um, I was thinking it would have been up there at the top, but I didn't see it. Alright, seriously? Alright, maybe if we search, sort by the room, go to kids' room, and go to kids' decor. Maybe I can find it under here. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? I want to see it. Come on. Oh, seriously? Either I'm totally missing it or it's not here. And it should be because it's installed. I totally didn't see it. I know I have it. Just give me a second. Alright, let's see. It's not there. Oh, Billy Bastille. Hmm. Where could it be? Um, maybe wall decorations? Um, I know it's in here, guys, so don't, don't freak out yet. It's okay, we can find it, I promise. Okay, come on. That's cute. Uh, nope, not in there either. I don't think it's in toys, but I'll look, because I think it's a wall decoration. Yeah, not in toys. Um, is it under furniture? I really don't think so, but I'll look. No. Alright. Well, I guess maybe it's under sculptures? This is really annoying. It should be here. It totally should. Um, still looking. If I don't find it here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut out here, and I will come back when I actually do find it. Um, it's just really annoying that I can't find it. It should be here. This is what I hate about getting, like, new things. I never know where they are, but then once I, you know, I get used to using them, then I'm like, oh, this would be perfect. Um, and then I know where to go to find them. So it's really nice when I actually get to know the items. That's okay. I love new things. I always love new things. And I'm always appreciative when people send me new things. Come on. This is taking too long. It really should not be this hard to find. 
All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out here, and I'm going to come back in just a second when I actually find the item. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I finally found it, and it's this one right here. It's called the Tallest Tree Clock. It says, create a nursery for the ages. Dress your little one in brand new outfits and look disco... Oh, man. Decorate your nursery and furniture made for the discerning, discerning baby. The in Included gift of speech baby monitor will allow your baby to communicate his wants and needs. And if those needs happen to be a bath or a diaper change, the dirty no more changing and bathing bathing station has got you covered. Get ready to take your nursery to the next level with the lullabies and nursery rhyme set. So this is what it comes from, but it's actually just a, a clock for the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this into this room right here, into the middle of that wall. And I'm going to put this clock on this wall because this is really cool. So if you look at it, it's like a little clock and it looks like a, um, a tree. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to pull it down because I just think in a kid's room, you wouldn't have it up off the floor. You know what I mean? It's a tree. It's supposed to be next to the ground. So thank you guys. Thank you to whoever sent me that. It's like popcorn cookie or something different that I've never really heard before, but, um, uh, I know that their Sims 3 name, I believe, is Fierce. And I always get gifts from her on the gifting system. And then she gave me this. And it was just so very, very nice. So thank you so much for that. And I really, really do appreciate it. All right. Now, jumping back in here. Um, everyone, I believe, is sleeping. Yeah. Everyone's sleeping. It's actually a Sunday today, so we're going to be doing some more of the things that we need to get done. Now, uh, Katrina, man, I couldn't think of her name for a second. She's going to go ahead and take care of her own needs, and then she'll take care of his needs. Um, because he is still sleeping. He's not quite awake yet. Now, I believe he knows how to either walk or to talk. I can't remember which one. So what is she going to teach him to do? Change his diaper, change his outfit, snuggle him. All right, talk, which means he knows how to walk. And I know he knows how to potty, so we're good there. And I believe he's done with the pig box and the xylophone, so we're also good there. So pretty much it's just about him finishing off um, talking, and he should be good. All right, speeding her up just a little bit so we can get through this. I do need to go ahead and accept some gifts from friends in just a little bit as well. She has quite a few that she's gotten over the past couple of days. So I do want to get those as well. Oh, this stupid shower really bugs me. All I keep is doing is stupid breaking. Okay, so go ahead and just clean up and then you should be good. Um, you're going to snuggle him. That's fine, but you should probably feed him. Yeah. So let's get you upstairs to this baby. Oops. And then you, when you, after you snuggle him, go ahead and feed. Man. Can't even keep my own ideas straight. Alright, feed him on the floor after that. And then you should probably be pretty good for a bit. Looks like Alberto Zimmer is at it again, scoffing his parental duties but not paying child support. Alright. That's fine. I'm not worried about if he paid child support or not. Yeah, we could always use the money, but not from that man. Wait, he doesn't deserve anything. I do love that the clocks actually move. I never really noticed this until just a little bit ago, actually. Alright, hold on. Before you do that, put down Trent here. Whoops, I didn't mean to pause. I meant to just slow it down. Alright, can you feed him on the floor? Alright. And then the next thing I want you to do is repair the shower. Mop up the puddle. And then accept gifts from friends. I want you to go ahead when you're done drinking and use the potty. Because that's pretty important as well. Alright, speeding up just a little bit while she fixes the shower. Because there's nothing else to really watch at the moment. Which is fine, but... It would be nicer if there was something to watch. Alright, let's put the toy back. There we go. She just repaired her shower, which she absolutely needed to get done. Before it made even more of a mess than it already has. Alright, slow down. 
All right, so jumping over here into the gifts, this is from Diva Dog 15. It says, thanks for the flask of angry bees and for my for my runaway teen challenge. Give this to any LP who needs it. Well, I'm going to give it to the runaway teen challenge since you mentioned your runaway, runaway teen challenge. So let's see what we're getting. We're getting the Phantom Master 3000 Tabletop Edition Lamp. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't send back for a while, so that really stinks. Um... Really? Rebuild the World Challenge? I must have missed that one earlier. This is from Fierce. This is, here's a little something that I hope you can use on your Runaway Teen Challenge. Let's see what we're getting. The Small Ivy. Thank you so much. And we could always use a little something something to decorate with. Alright, so let's see. This is from Ann and Half. This is a message from the game. Going to go ahead and take it here. Ooh, the Foot and Handball. I love it. Thank you so much for that. Um, passing you. Um, all right. This is from 987654614. Message from the game. Going to take it here. And we're getting the globe sculpture. Thank you so much for that. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. All right. So thank you so much for all of the gifts. They mean a ton to me. And I'm just really glad to be able to get them and use them like you guys suggest. So let's go in here and see what we can pull out for us to use. All right, we've got another lounge chair, which I'm not going to pull out because I don't think we really need it. Um, I am going to pull out this um, globe, and I'm actually going to put it in your room. And I want to put it at an angle. Um, uh, this we could pull out just so they could use it. Um, put that on the sink. This could sit out front if there's a space for it. Probably not, though. Because there's never space for things that are pretty. Alright, I'm guessing the rest of it will have to stay in here for a little while until we move at least. Alright, let's go ahead and do what we need to do. And what we need to do is teach Trent how to talk. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Anyways, I thought we were going to. Alright, go here. You go here. Alright, and then let me get you to teach your son to talk. I think she's getting close, so I'm just going to let her speed through it so we don't have to stay here all day. Alright, it's fine. Alright, when you're done teaching him, I do want you to go ahead and empty the potty. Let's see, what else do you want to do? You want to snuggle him? We can totally snuggle him, but... Not at this moment in time. Bob has reached elder status. Okay. I do want to get her a gem cutting machine. I'm not sure if I want to get her one while we live here or if I want to wait until we get like an actual house. But I'm thinking maybe possibly here. And she's only got a week before she ages up. He's only got two days before he ages. He'll probably age in this episode to be honest with you. Normally we go through about three days in this in this video because we can speed up so often, which is great. All right, you want to snuggle him and you want to pick him up. Well, let's pick him up first because at least we can get that one done faster. And before you do the other one, let's see. What do you need now? All right, I'm just going to let you do what you're going to do. Don't go downstairs. Don't go downstairs. You could put this over here and play with it. All right, you just taught Trent to Wow. You just taught Trent to talk. That is a tongue twister and a half. All right, hold on. Your mom's coming to pick you up. All right, perfect. So go ahead and pick him up and then I'll let you go ahead and snuggle him. 
I can't believe he's already going to be a child. That's so crazy. It feels like yesterday he was just born. Alright, go ahead and snuggle the poor kid. And then go ahead and um, tickle him. Go ahead and toss him in the air. Go ahead and attack him with the claw. And then you can go ahead and feed him on the floor. And then I'm going to let you come downstairs and use the bathroom. Clean it first. Then use it. Then go ahead and take a quick shower. And then you can go ahead and have some dinner. I'm going to let you go ahead and make up some goopy carbonara. Even knowing it's the most expensive. It's okay because um, she's got quite a bit of money now. That's why I was thinking about buying the gem cutter. Uh, but mm, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what I think later in life. All right, she's completed that. Has she got an A? Absolutely has an A. So she's doing really great. All right, when you're done drinking that, I want you to come use the potty. She's having the kind of weather that I'm having right now. Rainy, rainy, rainy. But also, not only is it rainy, but it's like sleeting as well. Like in between the rain, it sleets. So it's a little bit crazy. And I don't really like storms, to be honest with you. I'm one of those people who's like, you know, if I could get away with never having another storm in my life, I would probably go with it. Um, but... I don't know, I'm trying to just keep my headphones loud enough where I don't have to listen to it, and that's so bad, because, you know, I should be listening for if it's getting really bad out, but I can't because it freaks me out. Just, I don't like storms when I'm alone. All right, Kendrick has reached his elder status, so that's fine. Um, let's see, do you have anything in your inventory? Yeah, you've got plenty of stuff to play with, so go ahead and play with that. And then... Once you eat, I'm going to go ahead and let you put him back in the crib, and then you guys are going to go pretty much back to sleep because you don't really have anything better to do. Well, I mean, you do, but, I mean, you got school tomorrow and stuff, and tomorrow, I think, is the last day he's going to be a, a toddler. Well, not the last day, but it'll be the last full day he's going to be a toddler, and then he ages up after that. So, yeah, it'll be pretty exciting, actually. Let's see, she, oh, Matthew Adams has passed on, well, I'm sorry, Matthew. Katrina's now up to cooking skill level four, which is perfect. Katrina, when you're done, please make sure to clean up, that would be great. You want to buy a stove worth at least 450 simoleons. We could absolutely do that. I do want you to put Trent back in his crib, and then I want you to climb back into bed yourself, because it's already 11 o'clock, you know, it didn't take long for it to go from whatever it is now until five so I'm gonna put this in here because we're gonna go ahead and buy her that stove but the thing is, is when we move we're gonna leave some of this stuff behind because I'm obviously not gonna be able to take all of it and still be able to afford a new um, house so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one it's the next upgrade I believe let me see this one you get a hunger of four and this one you get a hunger of five so at least it's one step up the only thing I do want to do is I want to take the colors off of this and pull it onto this. All right, that's fine. I could deal with that actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and she should be happy about that. She does want to buy the gem cutting machine, and I, what I want to do is just look at how much it is. I'm not saying I'm going to get it, but I'm going to look and see if it's like, you know, in a reasonable price or if it's like extremely out outrageous and I'm gonna like hate myself if I buy it so let's see where is the gem cutting machine um right here 975 simoleons I'm so tempted you don't even know I think I might get it just so we don't have to pay to get our gems cut anymore. That's a pretty stupid thing to keep having to do. So we're going to get it and we'll just bring it with us when we do it. You want to collect a gem? Well, you could do that anytime. All right. Do you need to empty this? Yeah. Before you go to bed, let's go ahead and let you empty the potty and then I'll let you go to bed. That way everything is clean and ready for tomorrow because I believe this potty is already emptied. We could put this away for you. Alright, and then you can go ahead and sleep. 
going all the way downstairs, there is this toy right here. And I want to actually get rid of it. I want to put it upstairs. So let's do that right now. There we go. And the one that's in his inventory as well could absolutely go in here too. So then when you open this up, it's got multiple different kinds of toys. So it's cute. Alright, so he's in bed. I don't think he's like exhausted where he's going to fall asleep right this second. But um, that's okay. He doesn't have to if he doesn't need to. Um, he could do what he kind of needs to do, and we'll just watch Katrina for right now. And then when she's done, you know, with what she needs to do and goes to bed, I'll cut out, and you guys won't have to watch it anyways because you guys won't be watching. So it'll be fine. All right, so go ahead and get up here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out here since she's headed off to bed, and I'll be back when she's getting up for her day and headed off to school. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and woke Katrina up because I want to make sure she can get her needs taken care of before she heads off to school. There was some really funny things popping up about Albert, Alberto. He actually didn't pay child support again. No surprise there. But it says, whoops, after failing to pay his child support, apparently someone decided to call in the coppers. Alberto Zimmer has landed himself a nice cot at the county jail while the authorities sort out the complaint. That is too funny. I didn't know they could actually go to jail for not paying child support. But I know in real life, um, some people who don't pay child support have to, like, if they have a job during the week, what the, what the courts will do with them, and this is what happened to actually my cousin's um, baby daddy, um, he wasn't paying his child support, so what ha he had to do is, during the week he would have to work because he'd have to make the money that he needs to pay for the child support. But on the weekends, what he would have to do is, to be able to pay the back support that he couldn't afford, he actually had to sit in jail on um, Friday, like after he got out of work at a Friday, and he would sit there until noon on Sunday. So he would spend time in jail to serve his sentence of, you know, missing that child support. And that really made me think, wow, this mod is really realistic because it actually made him go to jail for it. And it's, it's really cool how realistic it makes the game to just have someone just go to jail for not paying you your child support. So it's pretty cool. Um, her bus will be here in about an hour. Okay. Before you go to school, I'd really like you to clean up, though, if you could do it. If you have enough time, that is. I think you should. Because you're already done eating. Oh, you're going to clean up yourself. Look at you. Are you a perfectionist or something? No. So that's kind of funny that she does this stuff on her own and she doesn't really need, she never, she really shouldn't because, well, I mean, she should, but because of her traits, normally she wouldn't. I like the little small ivy there. I've never actually put them on the, um, I've never actually put them on the sink. So it was com something a little bit different and I liked it. All right, so let's get you to go, and we're going to have to call a babysitter for Trent. Though our days of calling babysitters are almost to an end, so it's pretty cool. Love seems to be eternal. Faye Sprague has been recently stealing a peck on the cheek from Locke Sprague. All right, while she climbs onto the bus and heads on down to the school, I'm going to make sure the coast is clear for her when she gets down here, if I could ever get it to click on down here, so we'll see. All right, let's see. Is he at his house? It says he is out at the moment. Is he over here at this park? Nah, no one's here at the park. It's an empty parky parky parky. Um, yeah, see, it still says he's out at the moment, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and let you talk to your friends while you're in there. I don't know if you've actually made good friends with anyone. Oh, you did. With, um, Jer Jeremy Cardona. Okay. So while she's at school, I'm going to go ahead and cut out again, and I will be back in just a second when she is getting out of school. Be back in just a second. All right, so she is actually out of school now, um, and she just actually got on the honor roll, so that's a pretty good accomplishment, I think, for her to get. You know, as a teen mom, that's a pretty hard accomplishment to achieve when you're trying to raise a child when you're still a child yourself. So let's go over here and catch this bug. And then I do want you to go here by running. And we're going to follow you. All right, so just catch the bug. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell it so that we can make a little bit of money. And it's just a ladybug. 
A lady bugs, so it's only worth seven simoleons. It's nothing too big. She did get the wish to uh, pillow fight with Jer uh, Jeremy Cardona. Hold on, hold on. There's a bug right here that you can collect. So I'm, I locked it in because I thought, you know what? If she wants to do it, that's fine. She could do it at any point in her life. She doesn't have to do it as a teen. She could do it when she's a young adult, an adult, an elder, anything. All right, so hold up a second. Let me get you over the hill. Ooh, there's a rock, actually. So let's go collect this. All right, so we just got the ladybug. So let's go ahead and sell that ladybug. It's only worth seven smullions, but like I said, it's better that than nothing. All right, go here by running. All right, she wants to collect, or she wants to cut three gems using the emerald cut. Okay, we could absolutely do that, actually. All right, and then let's go home. Oh, and it's a rainbow gem. Oh my goodness gracious. Now you know where to get the rainbow gem if you're living in this town. It's right there. I mean, it wasn't that hard to find. All right, go ahead and pay your bills, which are 99 simoleons. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go upstairs. And you want to cut this as an emerald cut. I really would rather not because I think that's a waste of the gem. But I don't have anything better to, you know get it cut as we don't really know cuts right now I don't think either so I don't know we'll have to see what we can do all right so we paid our babysitter for today which is fine remember she wants to be an astronaut so we're going to be getting into the military so we're going to need some good athletic skills so when she's done with this I'm going to send her downstairs to eat because she is pretty peckish so I'm gonna go ahead and let her grab a little bite to eat so that she's not so peckish and then I'll go ahead and you know move on alright you want to do emerald cut I know this is a waste guys I understand that but she wants to cut three gems using the emerald cut so I might as well just use this one and do it yeah it's not gonna get us the most money but it's gonna get us plenty of money anyways no matter what cut you really get it it always gets you a lot of money so quite a bit of money anyways Alright, so I'm going to let her make some organic sushi. And let's look. Alright, she's got two piles of gem dust. See, it's already 768 simoleons. If you put that on consignment, it's going to be worth a lot more than 768 simoleons. So it's definitely worth it just to cut it no matter what cut you can do. Because you can make a lot of money off of it. Yeah, the heart shaped or, you know, those ones are more to our, your advantage they make it a lot worth a lot more but for right now we're not looking to make the most money we're just looking to make money to get out of this house when she becomes a young adult which we have about six days to finish that now Trent has about um, one day which tomorrow will be his birthday Trent you gotta move my friend go here alright you're gonna continue to clean, um, continue cooking your uh, sushi because your son is moving out of the way, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. And I'm gonna pull this over here onto the floor for you. Come on, give me a spot. All right, can you play with it right here? Play with it. All right, so she's just going to make sushi. She's not going to have to cook it or anything. It's just going to be a pretty quick thing. All right, go ahead and eat your organic sushi. You want to learn the fishing skill? We could absolutely do that. Now, I could get her the, um, the multi-tab and let her start listening to things, but I'm one of those people who doesn't really like to do the multi-tab. I may do it for, you know, a first like the first skill or something or to be learning the first skill of something while you know working on something else but I don't really push it to the limit and max out things that way because I just think it's too easy I feel their pain I really really do but there is nothing I can do about it honest that was Alberto Zimmer's response when neighbors asked why he hadn't paid their child support payments paid their child support payments lately. Man, I can't speak today for some odd reason. All right, it's only 8 o'clock, so what I want her to go ahead and do before she heads off to bed is to go ahead and do her homework. I don't want to let her grades slip now that she's so close to being done with high school. I think it's really important that she continues to proceed the way she has been. 
and I do want you to come in here and use the potty before your mom takes you off to go to bed. So let's get you in here to do this, and then she's going to feed you on the floor, actually, because you are getting a pe pe peckish yourself. And then I'll go ahead and change your diapers. So go ahead and feed him on the floor when you're done doing your homework speeding you up so you finish your homework a little bit faster than you know us sitting here for probably a good five ten minutes watching you do your homework because you know it takes the children forever without a multi-tab to do their homework on the sims 3 so that's really annoying all right let's get you done all right there we go yeah he is getting a little upset that he's not you know getting the attention he absolutely needs but he's going to, if he would just calm down for five seconds, he would be fine. Putting this toy inside, because I don't really like things out on my lawn that don't belong. It's just one of my pet peeves. Like, you wouldn't leave your kid's favorite toy outside to be stolen if you knew it was their favorite toy. So, that's my thought on him as well. Alright, so go ahead and change his diaper when you're done cleaning that sink. And then I'm going to get you to put him in his crib. And then I'm going to get you up here and into your bed as well. So you can do that. Oh, she also got the opportunity to improve her charisma skill. So I want to get that done. I might actually work on that tomorrow. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, it's going to be nice to have a higher charisma skill. So we'll get that done. Actually, do you have a charisma skill? Yes, you do. All right, you need another friend. Shoot. That's going to be the hard part. We don't really know people to make friends with. So... We'll have to figure something out. Maybe the other teenager that's in high school, you can make friends with him. Because you've got a pretty good relationship with him. You just don't have a perfect relationship with him. Faye has reached elder status. Okay. And she's retired with a pension of 50 simoleons per day. That's actually not that much. Which is so sad to say because she should absolutely get every money, every penny that she absolutely could. But a lot of elders will take, you know, the best off, the best offer that they get at the beginning, and that's just sad. All right, I've seen where that mod makes them retire and they get like zero simoleons a day. Like, what the heck was the point of even retiring then if you're not going to get anything from it? But I mean, it's up to them. If they have money, though, what's the point of working, really? So I mean, it really depends on their situation in life too. But like I said, it doesn't really make sense. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here for the last time of this episode, and we'll be back for when she's getting up for her day. Be back in just a second. All right, so Katrina's getting up, and I just got the message that today is Trent's birthday, so he will be aging up into a child today, which is pretty amazing that we've already raised him through his baby and toddler years in just a few episodes. So, Katrina's bus will be coming in a little bit. Owen Ogden and Angel Ogden have been seen arm in arm out in the town. That's fine. Um, she's coming down and just kind of taking care of a couple of things that I need her to get taken care of before she heads off to school. I don't think it'll be that bad, and I think she should have enough time to get at least all that done. She's not going to have enough time to grab some food, which is a sad thing, but at least at the school they'll serve her, you know, the food that she needs. And then she should be fine after that. Um, Trent didn't fall asleep for a while, so he is just finally, you know, maxing out his sleeping. Um, let's go ahead and get her over here. Go ahead and call a babysitter. This is the last time we'll call a babysitter. I forgot it's not going to be the last time I cut out because I'm going to cut out while she's in school, but it is the last time we're going to cut out, you know, at nighttime, I guess, in this episode. All right, so I'm looking at the street. I want to make sure that it's clear for when she gets here to get off the bus. Um, and looking at the house, it says he's out at the park. Last time I said that, it meant this park right here. So let me just make sure he's not here. And if he is, let's make sure that he's distracted. And he's not here, so I'm not too worried about it. I think she'll be just fine getting into class, um, which is great. I honestly can't wait until she is a young adult so things can be a little bit different on this LP. Um, yeah, it's been fun as her as a child and, you know, trying to sneak around him. But they have a lot of funny interactions of when she finally actually does see him, what she's going to do, and I have it all planned out. But I'm going to go ahead and cut out here again, and I'll be back when she is coming out of school. Be back in just a second. All right, so Katrina just got this message stating that her 
class will be taking a field trip tomorrow to the Little Corsican Bistro, and she can absolutely go to that if she would love to. So I want you to go here by running because she's actually out of class now. And this poor baby, he really needs to use the bathroom, and this poor guy will not let him go. I don't know what is up with this man, but late today he was really horrible. Like, I had a hard time getting him even just to feed the poor child. Nonetheless, let him actually do what he needs to get done, and it wouldn't have taken that long just to let him take care of his own needs. So, it's really annoying. Anyways, so he finally peed himself now. Hopefully you're going to change his diaper because that would just be horrible if you didn't and made him sit in it until his mother got home. Though tonight is going to be, oh man, that is worth a lot of money. Tonight is going to be um, his birthday. I was going to send her out and then I thought, you know, what, we're not because he's going to have his birthday and then, you know, we're going to have to be here. We want to be here for it, so... I do want to get that taken care of. Where are you going? Yeah, you better put my baby down. I was going to say, man, you can't take my baby with you. All right, I'm going to let you come up here and cut a stack of gems. I want you to cut the soul piece that you just you just picked up on your way home. You're going to go ahead and play with the toy, which is just fine. I don't have a problem with that. Katrina, I do want you to actually do your homework again because I think that really helped you have a better day. And then... I need to go into buy mode just quickly. Um, I don't believe we have one, so let's just check. Um, nope, we don't. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into decor into this section right here. Go downstairs, and I am going to buy a um, mirror for over the sink because she needs to learn her speed, her she needs to improve her charisma skills, so I'm going to go ahead and let her work on it. You can do paracut, I guess. Alright, so let me speed you up through this process of making this gem, and everything should be good. Now, looking at that gem, it's worth over 3,000 simoleons, so that's a lot, 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 a lot of money. So, she could definitely use it, let me tell you that one. Alright, you play with your little bear, and everything should be fine. Yeah, she's going to need more friends, but that's okay. We could actually make a friend pretty easily. Oh, maybe not. I think she's actually got three. Two of two. So she's good on that, actually. So if she could improve that charisma skill tonight, that would be perfect. All right, so let's speed her up again. I don't know how close she is or how long this will actually take. I don't think it'll take that long, to be honest with you. But it is his birthday, so we do want to not miss this. All right, Trent, you go ahead and age up, my friend, and we will be here when you are ready. I'm kind of curious what he's going to look like as a child. All right, so with crawling crits behind him, Trent has finally gotten on his own two feet and become a child. Trent has lots of school and homework ahead of him, but if he studies hard and keeps his grades up, he will be well on his way to success. Due to our excellent parenting skills, we can now choose a trait for Trent to develop. And right now he has evil and loves the outdoors. I'm going to go ahead and have him be athletic. I think that's a pretty good one for him to be. So we need to get you all changed up. And since we don't really have everything to do this, I'm going to do it just by using my uh, mods. So let's jump into create a sim quickly. I think he's got like the girl's hair, the generic girl's hair that comes with the game, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, he does. He looks like a lot like his mom with that hair. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyways, we're going to give him the bo a boyish hair. So let's see. What do we got? We've got this one. We've got, actually, I like that on him. We've got this one. His nose is funky. Do you see it? It's like a really funky nose. Anyways. Um, just looking for a really cute boy's hair. We did have this one on him as a toddler, so we could keep it as a child. I think it's actually really cute. I don't really like his nose. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not feeling the nose. Um, let's match your roots, and, uh, what you've got is perfect. Alright, let's go into clothes, because I do not like what you're wearing at all. I want you to wear something more appropriate, I guess I should say. Well, I mean, 
it was under sleepwear, so I mean, it is appropriate, but not for what I have in mind for you. I have him being like a really big stud muffin kind of kid that is just, no, nope, nope, not it. Oh, but these, on the other hand, are totally it. Not going to lie to you. That's totally what I was pretty much picturing. All right, and then I want to give you, I would really like to give him black pants, but I really don't think they have black pants for kids. So I'm not, instead going to give him these, I think. Those would be fine. And then for shoes, well, any shoes really would work, but we could always try and match something really nice. Give him the sneakers. That's cute. All right, for formal wear, I always go with the outfits. I just find it easier because the formal wears are really hard to match up. So we'll give him that, and we'll give him these, and he's good to go. All right, sleepwear. Yeah, it's not normally what I would give someone as a sleepwear, but that's okay. I'm going to give you this. Um, for athletic wear, let's see, what else do you need? You do need... Actually, I like your outfit. I just don't like the shoes. So I'm going to just switch your shoes to these, and you're good to go. Um, for swimwear, you're fine on that. And for outerwear, what do you got? Anything good? Ooh, the pants are okay. The boots are actually okay as well. I just want to get rid of the red, the pink gloves and give them a, either a different color or a different kind. We could go with these. That's fine. We'll go with those. All right, so there is Trent. He definitely has a very different face to him, and I, I was a little shocked about the nose, the bottom of the nose, because I don't really like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't, but that's okay. Anyways, so what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and, oh, you can't eat because your mom needs to serve something. All right, she's proud that her son became a child. I'm proud he became a child. I just, I don't know. Not really feeling it. I don't know. All right, so since we're done with baby items, I'm going to go ahead and sell the baby items that we actually have. And I know we could keep them for a later time, but we're not going to because we are totes done with them. Now, that can be kept. Um, that clock can be kept. Uh, I do want to actually pull the, uh, the design I have on this bed off of it and onto his new bed, but I don't know if I have any place to put this. <laughs> Maybe right here. Okay. Now I do want to pull, do I want one of these? What are the lullaby ones? I really don't know how good they are, to be honest with you. I don't know if they're good at all. So let's see, where's lullaby? This one right here. It's an energy of five, but if you zoom down to the bottom, which is so horrible because these beds are mostly very expensive down here. Um, let's see, where is the this one? Well, that's a five as well, so I guess this one isn't as bad as I thought it was, which sounds good to me because I really don't want to, you know, have to do more than what I have to do. All right, so let's get you in here. And the only thing I really want to pull on here is this. I want to pull it onto the cow print part. I don't really like the cow print part, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, and my alarm is about to go off in just a second as well. Um, I actually really like the wood from this, the lighter color wood in the middle. So I might use that for the bed instead. Yeah, and there's my alarm. It actually almost gave me a heart attack. And I just told you guys that it was my alarm was about to go off, and I still jumped. It's pretty sad. All right, so go ahead and put that on there. See if we can get it to match up. Uh, this one. There we go. That's good. Now I do want to pull that wood onto this toy trunk because I think you can actually color that as well so let's see can we color this yes we can perfect so his whole room is set up for what he needs but there is Trent he is all boy now and I'm gonna go ahead and let him um, you're not checking for monsters I don't think so you can go ahead and play with this 
I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because we've pretty much, you know, gotten what we need. And if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please don't forget to check out any of my other LPs that you feel like you may like. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.